to call me couples of my drama and ik eat the popcorn, you know, I'm like an auntie now. And <laughs> Yo, yo, my people, it's your boy EB. Welcome to another episode of The Kids Show. And guys, as you can see, we have a very special guest here. Someone that's been in the game for a long time. Someone who I've been waiting to get in the show for a long time. But obviously, she was dealing with um, some family issues and also her own personal life. But I'm excited to have you. Should I call you Rashika or should I call you Shika's closet? No, you can call me Rashika. Rashika. Yeah, I'm in a new phase of my life. Oh, is that why you yeah. changed your Instagram? Yes, yes, Oh, yes, I see. Yes, yes. Interesting. I was wondering. I was searching Shika's closet. It was a business move. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> why was it called Shika's closet though? Um, Because um, I I love I love fashion. And I was a student that time. So I was like something closet. My nickname was Shika. A yeah. lot of people call me Shika. So the Shika's closet just made sense at the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just like, yo, no. the what can I call myself? But no. but how how many years ago was it when you started social media? Um, uh, It's about, um, say about eight years ago. Eight years ago. That's a long time in the game and you're still, and you're still relevant. I try to be. Some say I'm not, but... I think I think you're pretty relevant. I feel like your realness and your realness yeah. like keeps you relevant. That's why I pop babies to stay relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Every time when the likes go down... He has a baby for you guys. Uh, Interesting. So I want to know like your social media journey. Like you said you started eight years ago. You are how old mm. now? 30, no? I'm 30. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes. But yeah, it started about eight years ago. Oh, when you were 22? Yeah, I was a student still. Yeah, I'm, I'm 22 now. Is so that it? means like... Oh, wow. Yo, just I'm, fair for me. No, I'm sorry. I was I was just working hard when I was like 18. Okay, no. But uh, then again, in your time, like... Social media wasn't. It needed. wasn't as big. I wish it. I wish it was. Yeah. But how did you come about like starting? So I never said. I never decided to. I want to become an influencer yeah. because it wasn't a thing actually that time. And mm-hmm. so what happened is I um I was just telling stories and being myself and stuff, and then um I I got the following and then. Uh, because people found, found me relatable and some found me funny and then it built from there once you have the following you must now decide okay now I can work with this what what is the plan with, yeah, yeah, of with course. this following yeah. uh-huh. and and like I always I always mention that you are so real now how do you think you are able to like stay so real mm-hmm. like we spoke off camera that you said like now on TikTok like there's more people like doing it yes, and being yes. like raw yes so that was always my brand um, people loved the realness but for years I didn't make money because of that mm-hmm. A lot of people said, nah, she's not going to make it. She is too plat. She's too gum. She's a small town, small girl. So I can't scarce English, but Afrikaans is my own language. You're from Worcester, no? I'm from Worcester. Wow. Um, so uh, a lot of years, I, I, I didn't really make money. I was working for free for a lot of brands. Do you think it's down to you or do you think it's, <laughs> it's down to the brands not willing to pay? No, I think uh, I, I didn't value myself enough mm-hmm. at the time. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I yo, I did a lot of free work. I just wanted my name out there. Yeah. Basically, I just, you know, I, I I told myself if you're gonna put in the work, one day it's gonna pay off. And uh, my realness is 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 what got me through it. I I just realized, okay, you can be real and still build a professional quality brand. Yeah. Um. So I yeah, that's my brand. That's what people love about me. I I can't be anything else but real. Wow. That's interesting. And with your new child, we're also going to see more of that yes, like, yes, yes, in your yes, life. Yes, yes. Now, now there's, a, there's a very difficult step that you mentioned now, and that's transitioning from a content creator to an influencer. Yes. Now, what do you think you had to do differently in order to make yourself marketable and more mm. attractive to the brands? Okay. So I reached out to a lot of people when I when I saw you, you're not really making the money that you're supposed mm. to. I reached out to a lot of people and they told me, you need a niche. You need something that brands can relate to. And that was just not Shika. That yeah. wasn't me. You can't box me in. Um, like I can't do one thing every day. Do you understand? Yeah, I get you. Like I'm a multifaceted woman. Like I love... Whoa. I love... I love... Um, I love comedy, I love doing skits, I love dressing up, I love looking nice. It is different things about me. So basically, um, you need to decide, like, uh, what do you want brands to see? Can can brands relate to you? Like, um, uh, yeah, so like I said, what I did is I I stayed true to myself. I just, like, my quality of my work, it it became more, you know, I get perceived, you can't even your phone, you know. 
your Nokia, your iPhone six or what to call it, yeah. you need like you, your stuff starts. You need to look professional. You 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 need to look like you want to go somewhere. Yeah. Man. Okay. You see, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. So, but at the same time, I feel like when you spoke about niche. Yeah. And like me, I do interviews. Yes. And I think like I'm probably. I would just say probably the biggest person doing interviews right now in Cape Town. That's why I'm on your show. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't be here. But I'm saying like now on the topic of niche. Yeah. I think what you mean is obviously like if someone's going to think of, I want to do an interview today. Yes. They're going to think what of. Are you going to? Yes, yes, they're gonna yes. They're going to think of me first. Yeah, and, and if that's your passion and you have a niche, good for you. There's nothing wrong with having like only one thing to focus I, on. I do, I do a lot of things though. Yeah, 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 I yeah. Do, but yeah, if, if you're explaining niche, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I don't have one thing that I focus on only. Yeah. I have family, I have different spheres, do you understand? Mm. And I think that works for my brand now because now there's a lot of different brands that want to work with Chica. Yeah. Uh, like now I'm working with Huggies because I have a baby. And tomorrow I'm working with a jewelry company like Pandora because, you know, uh, I love dressing up. Mm -hmm. And um, same with clothing brands. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, it worked out for me at the end to be like not this person having one niche only. And it's good that I didn't listen to others and changed who I am and yeah. change what I stand can, for and what I do. Can you give me that plug for Huggies? Because I might, <laughs> I might need it. Now, if you're doing what you do now, they will love you. Wow, mm. interesting. Okay, now we're going to go into like speaking about your social media mm. still. Have you ever had any social media beef with anyone? Or like anyone specific that you just beef on social media? <laughs> My love. <laughs> yeah, there was beef years ago. Uh -huh. uh, it was not wretched. I did have years. Oh, so you used to like to yeah. say stuff? Yeah, I used to like just say stuff without thinking. But I did apologize. Oh, to the person? Yes. Do I know the person? Yes, you do. Does everybody know the person? Uh, yeah, a lot of people know the person. And a lot of people know about the beef also. I don't know. Maybe they forgot by now when it's own knees. No. But like that's how... That's how uh, literally, it happens. You. That's the. I, that's the only thing I can remember years ago. Mm. Why mm. Do doesn't you, happen a lot? Why? Why? Why do you think people like enjoy beefing on social media? Why do you think people want to do it? It's lickum drama. This thing. That's just how. How. That's just human nature. They love drama. They like fighting and stuff. It's li because I, to be honest with you, I never watched uh, your stuff and then. To come be couples of my drama and ik get the popcorn. You know, I'm like an auntie now and. <laughs> Wow, you never watch my stuff. No, I, like, like, look, I have a baby now, so I, I can't really go on YouTube. I don't even watch my own videos once I've posted it. Do you yeah. understand? So it's difficult for me to go and sit for 30, 40 minutes and just watch a podcast. Watch then. a podcast. Mm -hmm. See, that's life now, and my work is hectic now. So, yeah, we love drama. To sit and eat, I cook your popcorn. I cook auntie, I cook no bad hat, and I'm ready to go. What is your favorite episode so far? <laughs> Uh, 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 Moving along, uh, Darian Hawk. Uh, Hawk. Hawk. Yeah, please Hawk, pronounce it more. What's what's your what's your son name? H O C K. I'm Karim. I stayed Karim. Oh, you stayed Karim. I get hard to learn, hard to work. Um, um Hawk to be. He's probably gonna cook you for that. But this gentleman is obviously a rugby player. Yes. As well. But he's a he's a he's a he's an he's attorney a, first. Yes, yes. He's a lawyer first. Okay, he's an attorney and then he's a rugby player. Yeah. So. How did you guys meet? On university. Mm. Um, I friend I friend zoned him. So guys, if you're in the friend zone, there's hope for you. Um so I walked past him, I didn't really notice him, and he saw me, he looked back, he looked at my bums. Um I don't show bum anymore. Oh, obviously you're you're a woman of the Lord now. Uh, no, no, I'm more modest now. It wasn't out, but I was wearing a tight pants, basically. Oh, I see, yes, yeah. yes, yes, No, yes. it was a bit of a bit. It was not a tight pants. I was, I was anyway, worried. so he saw me then, and he turned around, and he was like, nah, she's good. Then he saw me again in the cafeteria. I sat with his rugby manager. I told his rugby manager, that's going to be my lady. That's going to be my girl. Is that what he Kassam. told? Yeah, that's what he told his, man, his rugby, mm -hmm. uh, rugby manager. Still didn't really notice him. And then they introduced me to him. We became f uh, friends. He was a rugby player. I was friends with a lot of rugby guys. Wow. I was Red quite flag. the popular girl. Red Neva? flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have taken me if I was all over. He's yeah. not that type of guy. No, I, 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 no I'm just saying. Yeah. Anyway, let's okay. let's continue. Um, so, um, yeah. So, for a few months, he was my friend. And um, and then when I was now totally single and stuff, to Maki Man, say, say move. Say move. Uh, and then um, how did 
how did you, how was your relationship like from start to like marriage to now having a child hmm. like has it always been easier for you guys or has it been hmm. rocky at times so when we met I, I wasn't even i wasn't really into social media the social media thing happened like mm-hmm. a few years after so he wasn't really keen on that like me sharing stuff about us he's a very private person yeah so for him it was difficult for him to to walk and then his brother's like my bro why did you do that and you can sit you understand he was yeah. like why do you have to put everything like out there and I had to make him understand but this is now what I love this is my passion and mm-hmm. you know we need to find a way to make it work um in the beginning after that a year to after that we made a lot of skits together because I realized people love seeing him yeah so that was basically my selling point and then it started affecting my relationship because when we together that's ik meer focus op content and not on him do you understand yeah. like um like for me, it was the most, yeah, the most important thing was to create content, my bro, but not really focusing on us or on him. And then I had to take a step back and say, and yeah, I was like, if you want to make this work, you'll have to uh, leave your relationship out of, of, of your, your work. Yes. Yeah. It, like you build your brand. If you're good enough, people will follow you. People will love you. And um, yeah, that's what I did. And we made it. How long was it? August. Three years with two years. Yo, quick, quick, no? Uh, but, no, no, almost two kids, not yet. But anyway. But on, <laughs> on that topic though, how do you feel when you first found out you're pregnant? Like your first child? My first one. Oh, I was ecstatic. Second one. <whistles> geskok. Geskok. Mm, Me, that shocked. means surprise, no? Yeah. <laughs> so like, did you expect to have your first child, like your second child straight after your first one? No. No. That was Abby's fault. Ah. Uh. Mm, what did you? I should have not trusted him. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. But but <laughs> never. Really, it was a shock. Really, yeah. a shock. Anyway, guys, my baby was six months old when the second one was conceived. Bro didn't waste any time, no. Yo, bro was putting. The, but 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 they always say like it's good to have. Yes. All your kids now yeah, and then. they're gonna grow up like twins. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be hard in the marriage that first few months. Yeah. But um, we we will make it. It'll make it well. Do you do you feel like um you want a boy this time? Um, I think every father would love a boy, uh-huh. but um it's not about what we want, so we will just we're just gonna have to try and tell it's a boy if it's another girl. Oh. <laughs> Next year again you're gonna see us sitting on this couch again telling about the third pregnancy. Um, but yeah, that's Terry. And what else do you wanna know about him? Like he mm. does rugby he plays rugby? Yeah, he plays he's a he's a semi professional rugby player as well. He yeah. was playing in the Curry Cup first division this year for the Poland Cavaliers, they won. Um so he uh he is a very hard working guy. He leaves mm. home in the morning, he goes to court, all that stuff, and then the afternoon after work he goes and train like a professional rugby player. Wow. And some of those most guys they only do rugby. Mm. He does both. So does it ever like affect you guys' relationship, like you missing him or, <clears throat> or like I'm a very I'm a very uh, different type of female, like I'm very independent. Yeah. Like uh, I'm raised like that. I think my father raised me like that. I I love my time. Look, a lot of people are obsessed with their partners. They do everything mm-hmm, with their mm-hmm. partners. Like, can he ask them all so nice money? <laughs> but I can't breathe without that person. Like, I'm not like that. Yeah. Um, I love having a long time. I love being with my friends. I, um, But when we are together, I, I did miss him and then it's nice. But I can't be around someone the whole day. That's yeah. just not my personality. So I think he found the perfect wife for that. Um, it is difficult now with children, yes, because you need that help at home. Yeah. So when he's home, I'm like, yes, finally someone to help me. Mm-hmm. But it's not because... Except no, I don't have anything to do. I yeah. always have something to do. I'm always working. That's important, though, especially like in this society, because I feel yes. like a lot of a lot of a lot of people get in relationships, yes, and they sort of like forget about who they are, and they just focus solely on, on the that. relationship. Yes, yes, and yes. then you get to this point where you can't live without the person. Yeah. So the person decides you lose to yourself. Live. You mm. lose yourself. You lose your friends. You forget what you're passionate about. You forget your dreams, and and that could just never be me. No, it's not you, no. Yeah, no. I mean, we've seen it. And that's why, I think that's why he married me. Mm. Mm. Because he can see that you're still giving me space and stuff to be his own person. Yes. What what advice could you give to like new mothers though? Like now that you on your back to back. No, not the guy like expert. I said, Uh, (laughs) I'm an expert. Um, New mothers. Um, Yo. Um, Okay. 
I think that, um, so I love babies. I have nephews, which I think I raised as well with my sister. Yeah. And I thought it's going to be a walk in the park. And then my first baby came in for a month. I almost cried every day. And I couldn't understand why are you sad? You're supposed to be happy. This is supposed to be a walk in the park for you. Yeah. But I just want to tell you that um, I heard something that said that you are mourning the life that you had and the person that you were. Because like I explained to him now, I was independent. I I could work until 8 o'clock and then go home to my husband. But now I had to go to an event. I, I was at the event and I'm thinking, I need to get home. Th- that child is waiting for me. She's yeah. going to wait for me for the rest of my life. Like I can't do what I want anymore. So I, I need a time to process that. I'm responsible for someone now. My yeah. life has changed. It's not the same anymore. Now I can't live without her though. But if you do feel sad, don't feel guilty about it because it is normal. Wow. That yeah. Was, that was deep. So as a, as a mom, like before making that huge step, you need to consider like how much of your old self are you letting go? Like you yes. can't always do what you want because no, there's definitely. a person that's depending definitely. on you for at least 18 years. Yeah. And even if I have a full-time nanny at home, I'm still, when I'm out for three hours, I told uh, someone the other day I was working in a hotel and I, I was I was very tired and I, I, I shot a campaign for two hours and I looked at that bed and, and I thought to myself, this would be wonderful just to spend the day here, watch Netflix on this bed in this hotel because that was, that was that is what I would have done in my past life. Yeah. And so I felt that sad again that 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 will never be me because I'm that type of mother that wants to be involved I want to get home to my child yeah so it is fine to feel some type of sadness also at times mm-hmm. mm. important very very yeah. important now you and Darian Darian yeah Darian Hock you and Darian H-O-C-K at times it's something else but I'm not going to mention you and Darian have been together for a long time and you mentioned in a post that there was a time Yes. Where he was making about 7,000 then. Yeah, for articles, yes. For articles, yeah. and you weren't making money Enough. from social media yes. yet. Yes. So how did you guys like deal with the struggles of living like that? Mm. I know it makes you appreciate what you have now more. Because mm. I know you make like 100k a month. I, heard, I saw it on like some article. Lach, my kla. Mm. But <laughs> how, was, how, how did you deal with that difficult time? So uh, I don't come from a rich family. Mm. And like I said, I was a student at UWC. I left home 18, at at the age of 18. I was 17. And um, so I stayed in residence for five years. So I was never used to like the luxury life. Do you understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I stayed in a a double room. Your first year, your second year, you stay in a double room with a stranger that you've never seen before. That person might even be from another country, from somewhere in Africa. And it's... um, like, I, that's what I'm saying. For me, I was used to to grinding. And yeah. I knew that that um, eventually it's it's going to it's gonna pay off. The hard work is going to pay off. And mm-hmm. we were on the same, we were on the same, like, level, on the same buzz. Like, he also never came from money. Yeah. He also um, had to go and study, had to work hard. I worked part-time on university and what stuff. Did you, what did you study? Sorry to break your word. I studied, I studied law. I st- I, I studied LLB and I have a degree in uh, BCom law and then I have a degree in um um yeah lang lang si frag antwoord for degree in um honors in industrial psychology. Yo, you're just running after degrees, no? Yeah. But now you're content creator. Now my mother calls <laughs> my mother calls me a nothing. Now you started all this years to become a nothing. Anyway, so yeah, um, for us it was um, you know you, you know when you work hard and you know when you have a dream and a vision that just keep going until you get there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, we're not where we want to be yet, but um, we've come a long way. From from obviously 7,000 yes. in an entire household. Yes, yes. We we had to move into uh, my parents' house in my old room after we got married. So, um, and that makes, th- that makes things so much more worth it, you yeah. know, having it. Wow, how was, you, that, how was that though? Like staying in your in your. I think your it house? was more difficult for him, shame. Yeah. Because like, this man is all about privacy, knows Jaini. Now you're here in your wife's house, and your wife is all about family, and the children are running in mm. the room, and the, imagine and it, the it, mommy <laughs> comes in, and the daddy comes in. Shame. Imagine. Man. Imagine you arguing with your with your wife and then a daddy walk in. Yeah. You say, why, you why are you arguing with my daughter? You must just argue here underneath the breath. 
<laughs> yeah, so for a few months we had to go back home because we got married in COVID. There was no money. Yeah. There was no money, literally. I was going to get married in my garage and I was already a content creator back then. So it, it didn't come easy for me. It took years for me to be where I am. Yeah, and I think that's 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 another misconception that people have. Like people think that content creator, you have money yeah, and you're rich. I think it happens overnight, never. Like when I reach 10k followers, I can't lie to you when I reach 10k. <laughs> I'm going to start getting all the brand deals. I'm going to move out. Yo, then you get to 10k and you're like, yo, yeah, where's, the, where, where the where, people where's at? Where's the people yeah, at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's a lot It's a lot more um, difficult now to for brands to like contact you. Like you have to like stand out because there's so many content creators, right? Yes. All, yeah, that, that too. But also uh, a lot of brands make use of micro influencers because... Yeah the macro ones are so expensive and also micro influencers they have a very loyal sorry they have a very loyal following so a lot of them do make use of it so i think it's just that for the micro ones for the small ones you just you keep going keep on creating content i used to create content every day okay not you don't have to create content every day but put quality content out there yeah. on a regular basis you need to stay relevant mm -hmm. yeah but you are you working hard but are you doing all the right things you're gonna get for but me, mm, but uh, you're not micro anymore. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I'm I'm grinding man. I'm doing YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Sorry. You must get back on YouTube. We're waiting for you, no? It's taking know, long. Oh yeah, no, I am back. It's just so every now, but I I need someone actually to edit for you. I think so. Yeah. Sure. No. Oh, yeah, but you but you have a child to look after. Yeah, that so makes sense now. You are soon. I have to. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Yo, how are you gonna do that, bro? <laughs> and it's gonna be like two small ones. God knows. Why? Anyway. But um, I think I need to make more money because I need to employ another nanny. nanny. Mm. Yo, you need to grind harder, nah. No? How much? How much is it for Shika closest post? <laughs> 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 you know what I love about this industry? Yes. The rates and the stuff is very top secret, man. Oh. Uh, Have uh, you noticed? Yeah, people. But I, I've seen your rate card though. <laughs> I actually, I actually have, but I saw it like three years ago. Oh, okay. That motivated me to work harder. Oh, no, study. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, I was. It's like a gloom. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I saw it. Oh, you saw it. it a few years ago. Yeah, I saw it like two years ago. Someone that I was working with oh, had your red card. So I was like, standard. let me just sneak in here. Oh. And that time I was asking like 500 Rand for a post. Oh. So I was like, yo, this is what Nance is <laughs> making. I need to get <laughs> to that level. You know, Nance, talking about money now, Oscar Niel, but we can talk the whole day. Um, I, I, I said to my friends, the other day, my one friend is here, and I, I told them the other, the other time, like, if I made what I make now a year ago, ne? or a year ago, I thought it's it's impossible and you're going to feel so rich and be so rich. But when you eventually get there, ne? then your lifestyle has changed yeah. so much mm -hmm. that that you're not rich. And you yeah. have to work twice as hard when you get there. And you need more. And you need more. And you just always need more. Yesterday, yesterday, That's just the funny thing about money. Yes, yesterday I went, I went to um, Samsung. Yeah. And I saw this TV for 150,000 Rand. No, CJ. I said, like, no, I'll never do that to myself. <laughs> no, that's the type of money I don't have. I don't have a 30,000 for a pair of shoes. Most I'll pay is 2,000 Rand. 2,000 Rand? Yeah, I'm actually very cheap. Uh, these these ones were elite back in the day, but people like to roast them. Do you want to show them your shoes? What, what is this? How, how are you kiss? Uh, uh, <laughs> what's this? How you kiss? What's Arach, this I think it's a Raches. Yeah. Oh, is this not a cool techie? I thought it at, was quite. It was cool back in the day, like 2016. So, this is old. You see, yeah. that's how. And you bought it this year? I sh No, last year, but anyway, I'm 30. The, this is like the same level as like ZX Flux. You know how the ZX Flux is? Uh, that did us. You see, I'm not a show off for Stan Jay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I see. You obviously do. No, I'm just. A, no, I always think when I see the, the, the Nike. Uh, four. What is that? Jordan four. Jordan four. It looks cool. I'm gonna give it to you. But the thing is, I have a whole house, a whole family. You understand? Yeah. That money must go to other stuff. I can't pay six thousand mm -hmm. rand for that. that. That's what I like about you. Like you're real. Though. What What do you have to say about like people that like that like love this fake life on social media, but then in real life, like Dave has this boy. I don't know if you know Dave, no? Who's Dave? Dave is my one of my favorite rappers. Oh, okay. But he says like um in Insta sitting in a mad whoop. Mm. In traffic, you're looking like a catfish. Because mm. like on Instagram, you're sitting like in the craziest, in the craziest car. Yeah. But then in traffic, <laughs> it's a catfish. I think I think it must be exhausting to mm. love to love that life. And I don't think anyone will be able to keep it up. But why do you think people feel motivated to do that? For clout, for attention. People love 
uh, for approval. Yeah. Yeah. Approval from other people. Yes, yes, yes. People love that. Um, they think that it's going to bring them some sort of happiness. Mm. And that's actually sad. It brings you sadness. No? Yes. Make me want to crown this coach. <laughs> I can't lie. I can't be. Guys, you know when I went to um Benny's birthday, I went home and I told my girlfriend that my favorite person that I met here was Rashika. And we didn't even talk that long. Why Why did you like our interaction? Because the interview was just very genuine and it seemed very, very real. Mm. Like, obviously, everyone else was real, but I just felt like yeah, it related on a lot of stuff, man. Mm, no, I like you. And you didn't have to, You like me. Does your husband know you like <laughs> me? <laughs> Not in that way, please. I'm going to No, no, no. no. Oh. I, love, I love the realness. I love the realness. Mm. Like, I... I I'm a real person, so I can really feel when someone is real. Mm -hmm. Like I, people think I'm an extrovert because of my content, but I can actually not go to an event and just walk up to someone. Yeah. And that's not because I keep myself quiet because I've heard people say that in front of my face so far quiet. It's just because I'm actually not an extrovert. Mm. But um, when I connect with someone, it's because they're also real and then I feel like I can be myself. Wow. Mm. I'm actually real, guys. They say like, if you had as much hate as you had love. Okay, I don't know where I was going. I thought I, thought, I, thought I had You've made it in life, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, I lost I'll it. it for you. <laughs> Let's go to Vusta. Oh. Did you move back to Vusta? Um, we now, permanently. Now, yeah. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm in Cape Town. Which, which area in Cape Town? You don't want to say. You don't have Northern to say. suburbs. Oh, Northern suburbs. Oh, that's my side. Uh, Are you in Delvinville? If you're in Delvinville, you go. Nah, babe. Oh, yo. You, you, yeah, 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 I need to get in that. Day, <laughs> but, um... Any creators that you like in Worcester? Anyone that, like, social media guy that you like in Worcester? She's thinking long and hard about this question. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just thinking how many creators I know from Worcester. Oh, I know, I know Ziad, Z. Z who's Ziad? Um, Z, Ziad is. Yeah. He used to make the raps. Yeah, wow. I make yeah. funny videos. Oh. Yes, I like say work. Um... And then just just Java's also have funny funny stuff on yeah, on yeah. YouTube the pranks and stuff mm -hmm. that he does. F who's still in Vusta? Sorry, I think no feel for sorry, I forgot your know, big name. It's pregnancy brain. Ah, but see, yeah, see. there's not a lot of let's be honest, there's not a lot of content creators in Vusta. Yeah, like uh, am I? I don't know if I'm forward if I if I say this, but maybe I wasn't I the first. You think you're the first big one? Big, big 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 one in Vusta. First one through the door, no? Maybe. Wow. Crazy. I like that though. I like that you're like very real and very honest and like <laughs> you back yourself. I'm asking a question. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think you are. Like I didn't even know you were from Vusta. Okay. Until hmm. um, I was eating the maybe, post. Okay, maybe just Java as well. Disagree. Maybe you started before me. I, I'm not sure who started first. Java's still like 23. So I okay, think yeah, Java's still a baba. Yes, probably like was in the time maybe. Okay, started, yeah. Yeah. Um, What's your ultimate goal in right, life right now? My ultimate goal is... My ultimate goal is always to be content in life, to be happy, not happy on social media, happy in real life. Yeah. Um, to to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to take my whole family overseas. Uh, yeah. Most of them have never been there. I would like to fly them out for a holiday. That's 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 the comfortability I want in life. Mm -hmm. But obviously, with the money that Huggies is paying you, you can obviously. <laughs> Like. No, I wish. <laughs> um, yeah, so to be comfortable, to to just work on myself, to always be a better person, to to be a good Muslim. Wow. Mm. Alhamdulillah. Mm. Mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of upcoming creators, like I said. Is mm. there any specific creator that stands out that you really like? Like, not just Vusta, but the entire of like um, South Africa. Upcoming. Yeah. Anyone that you've been watching, maybe the, tic, the on TikTok, the, the oh, iPhone drama. It's like, um, it like, <laughs> Have you seen the iPhone drama? Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm a cop pain. I can't. That's too much drama on TikTok. But I like, um, I like Shanae's stuff. She's funny. She's also made a few videos of me. She makes fun of me, and I love it. Uh -huh. uh, I like her stuff. Um, the new and upcoming ones. Who's still new and or upcoming? Even, or even older, if you want to mention older ones. Oh, older ones. I um, there's a few one, there's a few ones that I like. I like uh, I like Nabila Karim for the fact that um, she I think she was one of the first ones to be this modest content creator, like yeah. open the door for the rest of us. Um, 
So I like the fact that she stayed modest, you know, through mm. it all because sometimes we tend to change ourselves because we want to fit in. Yeah. So I love the fact that she, you know, she kept the scarf on, she kept the modesty and that even made her bigger. Yeah. I love Nadia Jefta's work ethic. Uh, that child, that, that lady, sorry, it was Alta Bissala age. <laughs> um, she works hard. Yeah. Say Maki Mula, but she doesn't sit back like she, she works. So I love that about her. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Now I'm going to ask you a section about like your child, like mm. this is hypothetical situations. Oh, hypothetical. Yes. Okay. So if, are you allowing your children or your mm. daughter to bring a boyfriend home? Of course. But like at what age? Ah, then. High, high school. High school. Yeah. Yeah, you must say, you must say it's a friend, but they all know in the house it's not a friend. Not a friend. You understand? Ah, so you yes, just yeah. do it like that. Okay. Next one. So I'm not I'm not I'm I'm also a woke parent. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna think my girlfriend my my, my daughter's first boyfriend is at the age of twenty four. Yeah, do you understand? You can think, yeah. yeah. Mm. Next one is if your son cheated. And the girl asks you, are you going to cover up for him or not? That's probably a bad person, but a good mother. I'll, I won't be able to pimp my son, man. Oh, you'll keep it? Yeah, man. I'll obviously talk to him about it and tell him what I tell any other person. If you don't want this girl, do not waste the time. Mm. I get very angry if a guy dates a girl for years and he has no intention of getting married with her or he doesn't see her as wife and material don't waste your time or her time oh that's interesting i feel like a lot of people nowadays also like tend to just date for the fun of it no nah, it could never be me ah. if i date you yeah by month three i want to know already Are you gonna marry what's me your intentions <laughs> but you're done dating now don't <laughs> <you>? <laughs> done dat- okay done dating. lastly before we go anything you want to ask me Are you excited for the baby? To be honest, bro, I'm actually kind of scared. I was thinking about going to buy milk, but I'm like contemplating it. I'm, I'm, joking. I'm joking. I see you looking at prams and stuff. Yo, stuff is expensive. Ken, there. Ken, uh. Yeah. Yo, but to be honest, I'm I'm scared, but at the same time, I'm excited. Yes. Because it's a new journey. Yes. And it's something new. And I'm interested to see how the child's going to look because we are so different people, like in terms of like physical features. Yes. So. I, think, I think it's also going to motivate you to work harder once you have a child. Yeah. Then, if you think you want to work now, once you have that child, then you want to work twice as hard. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah I want to stay at home all <laughs> nicely. But, but uh, do you ever do you believe that like when God knows you're about to have a child, then you're blessed more? Oh yes. When, like I said a year ago, if I thought a year ago I would earn what I earn now, for me it was it was not impossible, but it was that like a, so far out of reach. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, my baby came with. With blessings. Uh, me too, because I feel like ever since I found out I'm having a child, like it's just like it's, it's work, coming, work, yeah. work, work, work. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, yeah, we call it rizik in uh, in Islam. It's an Arabic rizik. word for blessings. Your baby comes with its own blessing. Rizik. Yeah. Yo, like R I Z Q. Do you know what Riz is? What is Riz? Riz is like game. Oh, oh, you got game. You got, got Riz. riz. Uh, and yeah, it's a new generation word. It's a new generation. Yeah, I learned the new one today. Yeah. Rizik, that the baby comes with blessings. Yes, the, oh, each baby comes with its, each own rizik. Wow. Mm. Own rizik. So imagine having two millionaire next year. Yeah, next year. <laughs> next year. Next, can you buy me a car next year, please? Huh? Can you buy me a car next year? <laughs> we'll see. What's your dream car, though? I, I don't have a dream car. Hmm. I don't have. I love driving a luxury, uh, a comfortable car. But there's no like a like there's no specific one. Let me say that rather. That's the one that you like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. When I when I when I when I became a mom, I had to trade my BM. I was driving F thirty mm-hmm. diesel three thirty, and I had to trade it in for for mom event. So I'm driving a mom event. Uh, now. But why do people do that though? What difference is more does it space? Make? More space. That space is the only thing you're worried about because that boot of yours will never be the same. Oh, uh, because you need to put the pram inside there. Okay. Baby gonna... clothes, baby stuck alas, baby car seat. Yo, I just I just bought a new car. I don't think it's a family car. So I'm going to struggle with that. Shit, shit. But I'm only having one. I'm not going back to back like <laughs> you. <laughs> wow. Mm. But yeah, guys, this has been Rashika Karim. Mm. Thank you so much for coming. Mm. Hopefully I can have you in the show soon again mm. when maybe Definitely. you and your two children can sit long yeah. time. <laughs> 
No, my, my children is not really um, to social media. Ah, oh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't put them on social media. Oh, yeah, I have a question for you. You're gonna put your children on, on social media? To be honest, no. Like, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's that's a part of my content that I want to be a part of my life that I want to be too involved in my content. Mm, mm. Maybe like, obviously, like in my child is sitting there. I'm not gonna tell him to. Hey, move uh, but it mustn't be about them yeah it's not about yeah. them yeah for me i uh, a lot of people wanted to know why i don't show my child's face on social media it was basically because of uh, it was basically a way to protect her yeah because cape town is small i don't want her w- walking in the school and then she she might get friends only because her mommy them is on social media yeah. or the other thing is everyone recognizes her do you mm-hmm. understand so it was a way for me to protect her as well I, I could make lots of money with her. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. But I had to... I had to that sounded like a slave. No. I could make lots of money no, with her. No, I could make her work <laughs> because she has that personality and she's cute and stuff. But as a mother, you have to decide which one is important yeah. for you. So that's so, that's the decision I made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. But like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And let me know in the comments who you guys want to see me interview next. Who do you want me to interview next? Who would I love to see next? Anyone that I haven't, that I don't know. Because there's a lot of influences from your era that I don't know. I feel like you're the, you're the last one of the big influences from your time that I've interviewed. Because I've done you sick, I've mm. done Nadia, I'm doing you now. Who else have done Envy Funk? You know Envy Funk? I know. It. My my husband loves you, Envy Funk. Wow. Wow. But does your yeah. husband watch my content? Yeah, he does. What? what the what, skits. What, what, oh, the skits. Yeah, the skits. What he doesn't do you, uh, long YouTube videos, only motivational YouTube videos and the rugby games. Oh, I see. I see. Rugby matches. Sure. Um, who hasn't he interviewed? Mr. Hawk. <laughs> who hasn't he interviewed? Good. Yo, I don't know. Wow. Putting me on the spot, but I'm going to think about it and let you know. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Go Binge. Shout out to Louis. Shout out to Carl. Peace.